Hey what's going on guys, it's your boy Maz here and in today's video I'm going to be telling you how to make an amazing thumbnail that people are going to want to click on for your Minecraft videos not only on the Hive or Zeka but any server or any type of video you want to do also before commencing with this tutorial make sure to have the following apps downloaded Fonto, Pixart and CapCut. So let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so now we're gonna head on over to our browser and search up the Hive minigames background. Now, as I search this up, we're gonna go over to the images tab and we're gonna select anything we like, but this one is very vibrant, has a mix of good colors. Now we're gonna head over to Pixar and we're going to basically add a border. So we're gonna remove all of the outer border and add a bit of an inner border increase it a bit more so that we have that big punch on the sides and it stands out now we're gonna go to our stickers and we're gonna search up line now this line there's lots of premium stuff but this is a free line that you can use and we're gonna make it a bit smaller in width thinner and then we're gonna line it up with the with the um, center and if it goes over the edge it's totally fine I'll just cancel that and I'm just gonna make it a bit more small just line it up yeah perfect and now we're going to save that up it's not necessary though just for a backup and then what we can do is we can go over to our effects um, as you can see here and we're gonna go over to blur and basically blurs the whole thing and you can really adjust it you can add a bit of fade if you would like okay guys so now that we have added our fade we're just gonna save this and now we're gonna head on over to CapCut. now this is a bit weird but you're gonna get a green screen off of youtube which is like a re like an amazing effect like you can search this up on google and you will find this green screen and you're gonna add it as an overlay and then you're gonna head on over to your chroma key and the chroma key you're gonna put it over this darker green color and then you're gonna adjust the sensitivity and I just play around with the shadows and I think that if I do that yeah I max out the intensity and then I should have something like this but then just lower it a bit so that it's not that prominent and doesn't make the thumbnail look too bad and now well we're going to just take a screenshot of this and then you can just cut it to the correct dimensions so now that i have saved this photos we're going to head on over to our browser and we're going to search up the hive minigames logo so that we can add this to our thumbnail and you can select this one over here you can use any though and i'm just going to add this to my photo you have to long press and then we're going to head on over back to pixar search up youtube get the youtube logo and put it off to the side, rotate it a bit, just to put it a bit at an angle and we're gonna go to border and add a bit of a thin white border just to make it stand out just that much more and now we're gonna go over to our Hive mini games logo and this is really important so the way I get that clean look is I basically go to outline on cutout and I'm just gonna cut it out as perfectly as possible, it doesn't have to be 100% but just try to make it as perfect as possible this will be easier with an apple pencil or like a stylus but you can definitely do it by finger which is what i do and when you're done with this it kind of looks all right right but you what you're gonna do that extra step is this border and i recently just found out about this i use the black or gray color and i make it a bit big put a bit of an angle on it just to make it stand out yet again and yeah so this is what my thing was looking like and now we're, for the extra touch we're gonna head on over to fonto we're gonna use photo albums and we're gonna like select the picture that we saved in pixar and we're gonna add a plus one uh text and we're gonna select a minecraft font you can get this of google fonts if you search it up online and yeah so you can basically put a bit of a tilt on it um but i like to keep the size a bit short add a bit of a stroke which is honestly a light series basically just a border around the text and then light green color yet again a very vibrant color and the shadow so now i'm gonna increase the size a bit it is a bit wee bit tiny and yeah so mm, okay and now i'm gonna duplicate it then put it uh, perpendicular or like the opposite to that and then i'm gonna put it on the right left uh, bottom corner and we're gonna make that a two and then we're gonna duplicate again and put it on the top left corner but make it a three 
this this is basically imitating you increasing subscribers views all of that good stuff and yeah guys there you have it a thumbnail that people are going to click on thank you for watching maz is out bye for now and don't forget to leave your feedback down in the comment section below